Hi, it's Charlene, the Smart Coupon Lady. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. I blog about simple ways to help you save money using coupons and the latest deals, along with other simple tips and tricks. So if that's something that you're interested in, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the thumbs up button. Today I want to revert back to a video that I did a few years ago, and that was on my family's found change jar. And you can see it's the words found change have started to fade. But basically what I thought was to challenge my family for one year to see how much change we could find. My goal at the time was to not just collect the money, but it was to give my children a better perspective. I wanted them to understand the value of money. So I said that we would collect as much as we could and put it towards something special at the end of the year. So that year, we were able to collect about $15. I don't remember the exact amount. I'll leave the link to my blog post in the description box along with that video so that you can see exactly how much we collected or found, I should say. And we put it towards an outing for frozen yogurt. We also challenged ourselves the following year because we enjoyed that challenge so much. And the following year we donated what we found to church. So this past year, we've been doing it as well. And I'll explain to you what the pom-poms are. Um, this is how much we've collected so far this year, finding it wherever we may go. Um, and we'll check it out at the end of the year. We'll count it and we'll see what we come up with. Now, when my kids were a little bit younger, the counting in itself was a lesson. We would each guesstimate based on how much change we saw in the jar, how much we thought was in the jar, then when we actually each took a chance on or took a, a, an opportunity to count it, see who got the closest, and then we would roll it. Yes, I said roll it. We did not take it to a bank or to a coin machine. We actually use old school coin rolling um, rolls, these paper rolls, and we rolled our coins, and that in itself was a lesson. You had to put all the coins in the right amount, the denominations, so you needed to have $5 worth of dimes and 50 cents worth of pennies and so on and so forth. So it really has become something fun, and even though my kids are a little bit older now, they still enjoy this challenge. About a year and a half ago, we decided to add on to this idea of a found change jar, and we started another challenge, and that was our dimes for Disney challenge. And this is exactly what it says it is. We collect dimes from wherever we go, and we put it into this big reusable water jug. Now, I printed out the label, dimes for Disney. I added on our Disney princesses, and we've added in the dimes that we've collected. Now, these aren't just dimes that we found on the ground. If we go to the store and we get change, we add, and they happen to be a dime, we add it to our jug. If I'm getting change back, I'll ask many times, I'll ask for it in dimes, so I know it can be added to our jug. If relatives have given us money and it comes in the form of dimes, we put it in our jug. You can see though, we have added some quarters in there. Um, just as time has gone, uh, bon, gone on, it's just been easier. We found some quarters, we throw it in. We also gave my parents a smaller jar and they have been collecting their dimes for Disney as well. So. What are we doing with this Dimes for Disney? Well, we had hoped to go to Disney this year. And obviously with what's going on, we have decided not to go. So we'll just continue to collect. But our goal is to collect as much as we can, use our wrappers to roll the coins, and then put it towards something special when we do get to go to Disney. Hopefully that will be enough money for maybe a meal or some special outing some special event that we will be able to attend. So having that goal at the end has been the motivation. And it's also just the wonder, the surprise, the anticipation of how much you think you can collect finding our dimes. I keep hitting myself with this. Okay, so that is our dimes for Disney. But I wanted to show you the, back in our found change jar what these pom-poms are. So when we find a dime, we put it and our dimes for Disney jar. But we wanna make sure that we don't skew the total of money that we find. So each time we have found a dime, although we put the physical dime in here, we put a pom-pom in here, which tells us that each of these pom-poms equals a dime. So when we 
at the end of the year, when we add this up, we know that to add an additional right now, 10, 20, 30, 40 cents, because those are four dimes that we found on the streets and put in here. So that's what we're doing. As I said, it's a, it's a challenge that you can get everyone involved in your family. It's motivational. If you set a goal, it makes it even a little competitive. Um, and it's just something that uh, everyone can be involved with and have fun with. So um, I, again, as I said, I'll leave my links for this video and I hope that maybe you'll consider starting some kind of a challenge for your family for whether it be a vacation or some other special goal that you have in mind um, and get everybody involved. Thank you again for watching. If you like this video, I hope you'll consider giving me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next video.